So guys, today I come bearing extremely sad news, and that is that our beloved Elfaba, I'm struggling to even say it, her account got burnt. I know, I know, I haven't slept in four days. I'm just sitting there refreshing the page, hoping that it comes back. This has been the biggest loss the UK has ever had since the Queen died. Our other Queen has now died. Elfaba, she's not died, but her account has, which is pretty much the same thing. Elfaba's not a real person, she's just an MP4 video. Honestly, it's been like two days since we last looked at her, and she somehow got banned, uh, took advantage of a recently passed TikToker, and is somehow ended up in hospital again. There's been a lot of complaint over the years that the NHS is under a lot of strain and I reckon 90% of that has been Elfaba. She has allegedly contracted everything known to man. But don't worry about her losing her account, but I have no fear that she'll get her account back. Why? Because Chelsea Layart, Roots Darling, Roots, she has been taking a stand. I'm so annoyed about Elfaba as well. I'm so raging. I'm like, nah. I said to TikTok, I'm not coming back until her account's back. I said on Roots. I told them to piss off. So, no way did she say to TikTok, on roots, piss off. <laughs> Maybe I'm just missing too much lore, but I thought these people, I mean, oh. I think they just love each other than hate each other. You know that song that's like, I love you, I hate you, I hate that, I love you, it's like that. So I'm not going back on roots until they put her back. She's not going back on roots, I don't know what that means. Does she mean not getting her roots done? Her hair's just going to look like shit till Elfaba comes back? Or does she mean her account that's called roots? I don't know. All these TikTokers, they have about eight TikTok accounts because they just keep getting banned. Why is there like ACDC playing in the background as well? Like, <laughs> is Elfaba getting banned that heavy of a topic? Yeah, not on my roots, darling. Not on roots, though. They want me on roots. They're like, we've put you, they're like, we've put your account back, watch. Yo, they're like, I got blocked. I'm blocked, they've gone, oh, we've put your account back, watch. But what does Elfaba have to say about the ban? And if you're wondering how she said something, it's because she made a new account within 10 minutes. Now, what, do you want to know the reason why I got banned? The real reason. So the real reason why I got banned um, on that account was because um, TikTok thought I was impersonating myself. So basically, um, a load of haters were reporting my account for impersonation. I messaged my agency, now TikTok has confirmed my identity. Um, so I'm getting that account back. To be fair, I know a lot of people are going to be like, that sounds like bullshit. The same thing actually happened to me. I got my TikTok account banned once for the exact same reason, that they thought I was impersonating myself. myself. It was on my interview account and my name was Lewis Bucking Clips, so they thought I was someone taking clips of Lewis Bucking, so they just banned it. Uh, so believe it or not, I actually do believe it because the same thing happened to me. If there's one thing about Elfaba, she has about nine accounts, so I wouldn't be surprised if one of them got banned. To be fair, it does actually make sense. So don't worry, oh, I'm live here, I'm live. So I'm getting my account back. Yes! Oh, this is the best news I've had all week. POV, you're watching Elfaba's live. Trigger warning, Elfaba. That's so nasty. I will never get off this app until it's banned itself. Oh, Jesus Christ. So after last video, when I was giving a heart to heart to Elfaba saying, you know, because she was apparently struggling with being on the app and this wasn't the life she wanted. You know, I gave some advice saying that maybe you should take a step back if it's impacting you, you know, this much. And now she's just like, yeah, I'm never coming off this app. I'm Leonardo DiCaprio, Wolf of Wall Street, I'm never fucking leaving, baby. That's what Elfaba just said to TikTok Live. At what point, I was going to say you can't be on TikTok Live in your 30s and your 40s, but then again, there is plenty of them doing that. I'd argue that there's more 30 and 40 year olds doing these TikTok Live battles than anyone else. Jason Nash, he went from getting three Teslas from David Dobrik to saying, thank you for the roses, thank you for the roses. Ban this person off TikTok. Well, they did get banned, but they're back already. The mouth and nose noises. Oh, noises. I thought I just said the mouth and nose drives me to despair. I was like, that's so nasty. I've also spoken to TikTok, <laughs> the official. And you know, the official, the official of TikTok, just one guy. It's just a massive TikTok logo with arms and legs. Yeah, sure. But you know, Bam Bird, right? That horrible person who's been doxing me and stuff. 
What I will say though is getting unbanned on TikTok is genuinely one of the biggest pains ever. Because it's happened to me, it's happened to however many of my friends. And literally, it's really hard to get a contact at TikTok because for whatever reason, when someone works at TikTok, they only work there for like a month or two months and they disappear. I've never had a TikTok contact that's worked there for like over a year. So it is genuinely a massive pain. And to be fair, TikTok has an awful thing with just like banning people for no reason. I'm not saying I have no idea why she actually got banned or blah, 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 blah. they just ban accounts with like no warning. Could you imagine if YouTube just banned YouTube accounts with like no warning? They'd, they'd be outraged. But TikTok's just like, oh, you actually make your living and fund your family with this job? Hit delete. Bye. Not getting it back. And a lot of the time, you don't even get to appeal it. It just says, you've lost your account. Unlucky, mate. See you at the job centre. Um, all the recordings of them doxing me, stuff like that, to TikTok, my agency, they're never going to ban me. You've been banned like three times now. What do you mean they're never going to ban you? To be fair, isn't there like huge rumours in the news about TikTok getting banned in America? I just don't see it lasting this long. Every social media has only really had its like lifespan and then it immediately just, you know, gets ranked. YouTube is really the only social media site that has prevailed for like 10 plus years. Don't get me wrong, there'll be another thing. You know, we had Vine, then Musical.ly. Wow. The less we say about Musical.ly, the better. And now we've got TikTok. I wonder how long it would generally last. Let me know what you think. I have a feeling it will get banned, but I don't think anything soon. You can't blacklist someone from a private event. That's just stupid. Why is that like the least expected music I'd expect Elf Abba to listen to? Just proper drum and bass. Her roommates must despise her. Listening to drum and bass and being on TikTok live all day saying thank you for the roses. I can't wait to see that on r slash bad roommates. Look at the chat. £1,000 to eat your fart. Yeah, guys, sorry, that was my comment. Yeah, my name's Robin. That's my alter ego. To be fair, we're a few minutes in and we haven't seen Elf Abba fart, so I reckon that's a new record. Everyone give yourself a pat on the back. Oh my god, wait, 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 Elfaba has got her account back. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I can't believe it. Being an Elfaba fan, it's like a toxic relationship. It's just constant highs and lows, highs and lows. And this is certainly one of the highs, baby. Or a low, depending on how you view her. Guess who's back? Back again. Tell a friend. What's, what's up? Tell a friend. I will be telling my friends that Elf Abbas came back. I'm going to tell my mum that Elf Abbas came back. And then she'll say, Lewis, please quit YouTube and just get a normal job. Also, Elf Abbas singing Slim Shady is the last thing I expected. A song called uh, Help Me. Help me, guys. Help me. Guys, how many of you now believe I'm protected by TikTok? I can't believe she's blasting Eminem on her playlist. These TikTokers surprised me. Chelsea Liart, she was playing Trippie oh, Red, yeah, yeah. and Elfaba was playing Eminem. You can't say that Elfaba isn't versatile. In Elfaba's Spotify playlist, she's got two songs. It's the real Slim Shady and Defying Gravity. Right, why am I being jumped with a sea of beavles in the corner? <laughs> Oh, I love Bevo so much. He's the god and saviour. When the king dies, he should replace him. Bevo for a king? Yeah, damn right. But I think it's fair to say Elfaba, she's quite happy about getting her account back. Live my day as if it was a... I mean, look how happy she looks. Oh. Day as if there was no past. Doing it all night, all summer. Doing it the way I wanna. Yeah, I dance with my heart until the dawn. Don't know why, but she dances like she's in slow motion, just kind of... It's, it's so weird. It's like she's given CPR. It's like when you eat a flowberry in Fortnite. Sorry, guys. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite recently, guys. The jokes are Fortnite related for a good while. I'm sorry. Doing it all night, all summer. Gonna spend it like no other. It was a crush, but I couldn't get to get enough. <laughs> it's like watching Peter Crouch do the robot. <laughs> Why does she dance like that? She's really giving inflatable outside a car dealership energy right now. But yes, there we go. She's happy. Look at her go. But there has been some other news. Wow. She was in hospital. <laughs> Don't know what's happened this time. With Elf Abbey, you never know. It's either, oh, I've got itchy skin or I've contracted stage five liver cancer. You never know with Elf Abba. I don't know what it could be. I'm going to guess, based on her history, she let out a real loud fart, but this time, oh, it was too powerful. What is this music? It's like we're in Interstellar. Isn't this Elfaba's Instagram stories? Absolute drain on emergency services this thing is. I'm sick of it. Honestly, I think people call Elfaba it more than she. 
there's our hospital band. Are you really in hospital if you don't take a picture of your hospital band and then put it on your story? If El Fabo was on Facebook, she'd definitely be one of those people that like check herself into the hospital and it's like, guys, no responses for a few while. And they've got all their mates going, oh my God, Chelsea, I hope you're okay. Give me a message, hun. XOXO, gossip girl. My parents really should have known I was bi from a young age. <laughs> El Faba Dor I didn't know her real name was El Faba. Can you do that? I thought her real name was Onion. No? I thought El Faba Onion Dottery. I thought her real name was Onion. I thought it was Doherty, not Doherty. Yeah, I was right. It's Doherty with an E. Oh my god, why do I know how El Faba's name is spelled that well? Oh, Lewis, come on, get a life. So I got spiked. Why is it covered up? I don't really. Maybe it's because it gets took down or something. I don't know. <laughs> This music I cannot take serious. Just like, so guys, I got spiked. Do -do -do, do -do -do. El Faba shows her her hospital band. She's came with receipts, guys, and is awaiting test results. Fake hospital wristband. I thought that was a tampon. She was just flapping about. So yeah, here's my fucking hospital results. It's not fake, is it? Oh, putting me into it. No, no. it's not fake. Exactly. Mum's a bit stressed by it all. To be fair, I don't think they mean that it's fake as in like the band's fake. I think to get like a fake hospital band, that would be really weird. To order one from the internet, I guess, or like customise it, that would be really weird. I'm guessing what people think is fake is that she didn't need to go to hospital and was doing it for attention, I'm gonna guess. Which to be fair, why would anyone do that in the UK? Have you ever been in an a and &E waiting room? You'll be there for five or six hours. It's a lot of effort to get some sympathy, but I don't know. I don't really care as well. Um, but we're waiting for the test results. So yeah. She's just f fed up. <laughs> We've seen everyone saying online about it. My mum um, was the one who saved my life, so yeah. But I was wondering if John and John and I just do some positive stuff today, like get away from all the drama. Can we just get away from it all, like? Yes, Slay Elfaba, let's play some chess. You reckon Elfaba plays chess? I reckon she's a sick chess player. I wasn't allowed to leave the hospital before I got the test results after I was spiked. I swear they only use proper bands on babies now. No, I've been in the hospital like six times in the last year and I've had all them things as well. I'm not lying, guys. I promise I'm not lying. To be fair, I've probably been in hospital more times in the last year than Elfaba has. My body's been decomposing, I can't lie. Can we just go away from it all? Like, just not focus on gifts today. Just focus on us and just sing and just focus on the good environment we have. Is, is anyone feeling like shit today, like me? So there's been loads of conspiracy whether Elfaba was actually in hospital or not. What Elfaba says happened at hospital law. Just myself. So I was in a hospital bed and they were going to put fluids in me. I denied it. I didn't want any more needles in me. Um, so I said, I feel better. And I went to the waiting room, but I was in a hospital bed. They said, we can't do anything. I said, can I get my blood test results? Because I've got a train to catch. So they passed my blood test results to my GP. Surely you've been spiked. Catching the train is like the, the last thing you need to like be worried about. And that's where I'm getting them from. So that's how it's happening. Has different experiences. Not and not everyone's going to be the same experience with, you know, being spiked and stuff. Like not everyone is going to have the same experience. To get what I'm saying, everyone's going to have different experiences. Please always know that. And I always, you always have to understand that not everything is going to be the same as everyone else. I don't All the chat is just like bill, 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 bill. Hope everything goes well. And this is actually not fake. This is not fake. She better not be live streaming from the hospital. Not again. Don't tell me this time she's gonna be like, guys, I got spiked, and that means one thing: more live. <laughs> this woman and live streams are the most toxic duo ever. Uh, you can look at my patient ID. Alpha bar. It's on here. I have how my blood's done. Yes, dear. And then... I was there. And then I had um, an, EC, oh, an ECG. Is that, that, that was a dramatic transition. To be fair, people were like, she was just maybe too drunk. From my experience, I've not been spiked, but I've had friends that have been spiked. I think it's always worth checking because I had one friend who felt like she hadn't been spiked. She thought, I'm overreacting. I I'm just too drunk. And it turns out she was actually spiked. She had to go in the hospital the next day and there was still retinol in her system. So I think even if there is a slight concern, it is worth getting it checked out. I guess you're just better being safe than sorry when it comes to this sort of stuff. Surprise proof. What? To show that I'm not lying is ridiculous. No, you're not lying. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, she got nasty, got salty then. Let's bring out people's real colours, shall we? Mm -hmm. Do not like that at all. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Once again, I said his last video is like we're watching a scene from the Joker. I'm not lying. Them in our life. We don't need them. I'm going to delete my story now, but I just wanted some of you to see. I wasn't alive. I'm going to rest now. I won't be alive all day. It's like I'm trying to listen to Harry Kane speaking. I, I'm not making out a single word here. Moving on. We have went from her getting banned to her being in hospital. And this is another thing of her allegedly taking advantage of a, a TikToker that recently passed. So there was this TikToker called Leah Smith and she sadly passed away last week. It's, it's a real shame. I could be wrong, but I believe it was cancer. And I believe she was documenting the whole experience on her TikTok account. She gained a bit of a following. And then sadly, uh, she passed away last week. It's a shame. I always hate when this stuff happens. No one deserves to die young especially from something that they they cannot control which is a really shit situation all around but as you can see in her name she has like a, a sunflower and a love heart i don't know the full you know story behind it but when she died a lot of people were just going in comment sections and just posting these hearts and sunflowers just as like a, a sign of respect so then people started doing it in elf Habba's live stream just to you know pay their respects they weren't you know saying anything else just putting these emojis in and uh, this is what happened elf Habba tries to make a tiktokers passing about herself yes put sunflowers if you support trans rights and put some flowers if you're on my team. People have put emojis in my chat, so I support. I'm seeing loads of these same sunflowers. I thought they were bots. Right. Carrying on to that, I <clears throat> asked, what is this for? Mm -hmm. And no one answered me. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of said, if you support trans rights or stuff like that, mm -hmm. just to try and catch out the drama, mm -hmm. to see if anyone would stop. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was about someone who's passed away. So yeah, that was pretty much it. People were thinking that she was being like, yeah, yeah, I can make a situation, but actually, guys, uh, maybe put some flowers if you support trans right, yada, 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 whatever. I do get what she means when she's saying she, she thinks they're bots. I've never really streamed on TikTok, so I don't really know how it works, but obviously I've done a lot of streaming in the past on Twitch and on YouTube, but sometimes you will get like a spam of emojis or a certain word, and you never know if it's a bot, whether you're being raided. You don't really know what it is. So maybe she did generally feel like maybe I'm being, you know, taking the piss out of here and I need to do something about it, so then she says that to see if people would you know stop doing it i don't know why anyone would like send sunflowers as like a, a joke or something but if that is her jail and telling the truth that's a valid reason just because like i said i've had that before when i've streamed you know when all of a sudden people start spamming something you're like oh my god what's going on is there, is there something here that i don't know but yeah regardless whether she meant it or not don't take away from that show meaning behind it and it's really sad that that, that that girl did pass away so yeah rest in peace uh leah smith that's really sad why'd they even bring that up i know i didn't i didn't know at all i really but why would they even bring that up why would they even bring up in your, in your life anyway. But obviously this resulted in a lot of drama. This is how Elf Abba then reacted to it. Things are, no, I'm not gonna calm down, all right? I will say how it is in my chat. So moderate, shut up right now, I don't care. I'm done. Imagine moderating for Elf Abba all day, which is like 17 hours of the day when she's live streaming. They're just being like, yeah, moderate, shut the fuck up. Elf Abba versus her moderators in the next Misfits card. With people trying to tell me and to tell me what to do, I'm done being a moderator on on someone's stream isn't ever easy what? but could you imagine being a moderator on Elfab's live stream have you ever read like her comments on a live stream it's all just like die go overdose no one likes you no one loves you you're talking this you're talking <laughs> it's horrible if i got one of them comments on a live stream i'd be like guys i'm retiring the fact that they're now attached in some way to lee smith angers me so much so yeah like i said i think it's best just to take it away from the situation and just remember you know the original reason why people were doing you know the whole emojis Fab explains being disrespectful to Leah's death. I <clears throat> asked, what is this for? Mm. And no one answered me. Mm. So I just kind of said, if you support trans rights or stuff like that, mm -hmm. just to try and catch out the drama. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you would think that it would all stop then. It didn't. Elfaba's number gets leaked. She really does not get a break, does she? I can't say that half of it isn't self-inflicted, but still. Calling my fucking number. F*** off. It's literal harassment. Social media is f***. This world is f***. You think that's funny? <laughs> well, it's f I want to try and be calmer, but like in the nicest way, I've been depressed for like three days, not getting out of bed. I haven't gone out today once, not yesterday. And I've been getting calls on my phone, even when it turned off. How can you get phone calls when your phone's turned off? Is that a thing? Am I being stupid? But yeah, getting your number leak isn't fun. One of my friends actually leaked my number like uh, five years ago. But I just couldn't be bothered changing my number. So sometimes even like a year after, people would still call me and I'd answer the phone in an Australian accent just in case people were expecting me and never ended the phone. Oh, this might? Uh, yeah, I, I got no idea who that guy is. No, no, this is, this is 
Jared. Poor me, yeah. Actually, poor me, to be honest, because imagine you were docs. Imagine your address was all over fucking social media. But yeah, what a crazy... Like wow. four days it's been in the Alphaba universe. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. One day in the Alphaba universe is one year in everyone else's. Yeah, click here to watch another video. Uh, yeah, see you. Bye bye. Love yous. I'm a lightweight and I am stacking. Bottle of bucket and I'm at my chicken.